So we were gonna go riding today. I got my my halter. But somebody wanted to be a crazy horse. Um, Jarvis went into the other pasture with Darcy. Oops, let me see if I can do this. And um, I went to come out to get him and he took off. So we're doing a couple other little things. Go on, go on. We're gonna move his feet. And then uh, when he looks at me, I'm gonna stop and I'm gonna back up because I want him to come to me. I don't want him to be all worked up over Jarvis, especially if we're gonna ride. So let's try this while he's itching. No, all right, go on. Still don't wanna pay attention, so I'm gonna move his feet. I'm gonna change direction with him. Go on. He's gonna go back over to the gate. And I couldn't cut him off because I'm just not there. So I'm gonna go this way. And I'm gonna make him turn around. Go on, the other way. Go on. Go on. I want him away from the gate. We'll do this for a little while. I'll get a lot of steps in. <laughs> But he hasn't stopped to look at me yet, so go on, move along. Go on. Usually you do this in a round pen where you don't have like three acres to freaking walk around and watch him run around on. Go on, bud. Yeah, he's not happy. But he'll have to get over it. He hasn't looked at me yet. There. Nope. All right, let's walk up to his shoulder. Nope, he still doesn't want to. So I'm gonna swing my rope. Make him, <laughs> make him go somewhere else where he doesn't want to go. <laughs> oh, we could do this probably for hours. A lot of horses will do this for hours. But when he stops and looks, what I did, I did this with Gamora and Jumanji when they first got here they didn't want to come they didn't want me going anywhere near them so so I made them run and that's what you do is you you assert your hierarchy and uh, you just make them move their feet you're not hurting them you're just saying I'm I'm the boss and I'm gonna move your feet because that's what Darcy does and that's what Jarvis does so that's what I'm gonna do so we're gonna do this for a while and uh, while husband is using the blower, I'm going to turn this off. And uh, we'll see if I can get him uh, to come to me and we'll put the halter on and by then he should have his brain kind of sorted out. Okay, so he went in there by himself and I'm just going to stand here. I'm going to let him calm down. Because one, I'm tired of running after you. <laughs> yes, Mr. Antsy Dancy Prancy, I saw you. I didn't get it on video but <laughs> i had him in a corner a little bit like not in a corner corner but um it looks like you guys pooped in here again you gotta stop pooping in here yeah i'm talking to you <laughs> um and uh and i made him change his feet a couple times <laughs> and then he got away with me he like turned on the 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 power and he started running <laughs> and that tail went up and he started prancing like a little colt <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was adorable. And he was all proud of himself, and then he came in here. So, <laughs> I never said that horses make the best decisions ever. Because <laughs> now he's caught. But that's okay. It's all right. I'm, I'm tired of running, and you look like you're pretty pooped as well. So, all right. Now, let's see if uh, we can get him. I know. Let's see if we can get him saddled up. Hi. You silly boy. You running yourself ragged. What are you doing? What do you think you're doing? I know. Okay. We'll be right back. Well, we were going to ride, but uh, I think we're going to do some more groundwork. Um, simply because he has a hard time still paying attention. Come on. And he is uh, still pretty focused. Jarvis and Darcy are in the running over there. So uh, we're going to get him focused on me and where I go. So what I like to do is in my front yard. I've got that tree and a telephone, I mean a flagpole and a bush and a, a, a rock that covers our well and another tree. 
so what I like to do is do a couple little figure eights. Um, it gets them to pay attention to me and the transitions that I'm asking them to do. So I'm going to put you guys up on my steps here. Hi, Lexi! And uh, we're going to let you see what it is that I do. And hopefully he will behave. So we're going to set you guys up right here. And you should be able to see everything, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, buddy.
So yesterday's ride um, has, I think it was pretty good. We had a good time. Uh, he learned a lot of things and I learned a lot about him and um, I think it worked out pretty good. We're definitely going to have to do it again, but uh, definitely, let me see, I can probably do it bareback. It's just fine. Um, but definitely with some rains, definitely with rains next time. And um, see if he'll do any better. I think I might take him down to where we hand walked before down the street there and uh, over by the cornfield and stuff like that. I think I might do that next time but that's for next time. So thanks for chiming in and watching. Thanks for sharing. Thanks for ringing that bell. Thanks for subscribing um, and thank you to all our donators on his GoFundMe page. Uh, we haven't decided whether or not we're going to take him to the vet for that leg yet but um, you know if if push comes to shove, we will, as always. But uh, thank you again, and we will see you next time on Summerfield Farms and Draft Horses.